Hello and welcome to your Lone Star College math course. I'm Professor O'Neill. In this walkthrough video, I'm going to show you around D2L, how to find all the links and resources that you need. I'm also going to take you to My Lab Math, which is the learning management system that I use in my courses. And lastly, we're going to look at my YouTube channel. All right, let's get started. Once your class begins and you have access to D2L, the easiest way to get to D2L is to go into your address bar and type d2l.lonestar.edu and it should take you to your home page where you can select the particular course that you want to look at. Once you get into a course, it's going to look something like this. In my courses, the first place that you want to go is to the content tab. In the content tab, again, giving you a guided tour here, on the left hand side are all of the modules that I've created, including the Start Here module, where you, of course, start here. There's the MyLab Math Registration and Links module, a formula sheet that I provide you to use and then the modules for the assignments and quizzes. So there are going to be three modules for this particular class and then a midterm exam, and then modules four, five, six, and seven, four more modules, and then a final exam. There is also a practice exam module and a how to submit scratch work module. So in the start here module, there are three topics that you need to review. The course walkthrough video, of course, that's what you're doing right now. You need to click on the syllabus link, read the syllabus carefully and thoroughly. You will be held accountable for anything in the syllabus. And then there is a tentative schedule with modules and links document that's going to provide you a list of topics that will be covered from day to day. The uh, modules how the topics are grouped, and then links to my YouTube lecture videos on each section that's covered. Once you complete all three of these links, you need to go next to the MyLab Math registration and links. The very top link, the MyLab Math course home, clicking that for the first time will take you to where you can create your Pearson MyLab Math account and then you can register for my MyLab Math course. Now you don't have to purchase an access code immediately. You can register with temporary access and purchase an access code later. The rest of this module contains links to other resources on the Pearson MyLab Math website. Next, let's explore module one and see what's available. First of all, to mention, when you click on a module, if there are any sub-modules, they will immediately populate below that. So the first thing you're going to notice is we have a description that kind of explains what's going on in this module. There are links to every lecture video for every section covered in this module. I highly recommend that you watch the very first lecture video and then go and attempt the homework problems covered in that section. Once you've watched all of the lecture videos, notice the link to the homework assignment is below. So clicking this link will open the first homework assignment in My Lab Math. If you need help on any problem in that assignment, you can come back and click this link. It will open a playlist to my YouTube channel where I have an example of every single problem on this homework assignment worked out. Once you've completed homework number one, then you can come back here and click the link to quiz one. It will take you to the MyLab Math quiz for this module. And then once you've completed all of the assignments in module one, you can come back here to your D2L and go to module two and then work on the assignments in this module. And that's pretty much how D2L is going to work as far as clicking the links to take you to either the YouTube videos you need to watch or the MyLab Math assignments that you need to complete. 
Okay, next we have the midterm exam links. In this module, there are going to be two links, one to take you to the MyLab Math exam. The midterm and the final are both administered through MyLab Math. And once you complete your exam, you will need to scan and submit your scratch work through the midterm exam scratch work link. If you need help, Figuring out how to scan and submit your scratch work as a single PDF file. If you go all the way to the bottom module, I do have a document that shows five different techniques for how to convert scratch work to a single PDF file using your mobile phone. Next, in the practice exam module, I do have a practice midterm and final exam with answer keys that you can use to prepare for the midterm and final exams. If you need to see me work those problems, up here in the description there is a link, again to my YouTube channel, where I have videos showing how to work every single problem on the practice midterm and final exam. All right, next to my lab math, and to kind of give you an idea how this is gonna work, if you're in D2L, and you've already created your Pearson MyLab Math account, clicking this course home link in the MyLab Math Registration and Links module will open a new tab and it will open you to the course home page for MyLab Math. Now, over here on the left hand side, if you click this first link, it's going to take you to a list of all of the homework and quizzes and exams for the entire semester. The next link below that is where you would go once you've completed a homework quiz or an exam. If you want to review the questions and see what you missed and maybe figure out why you missed it. Below that is a link to the e-text where you can access the course textbook. And then below that are the multimedia resources that Pearson provides for this particular book. Okay, next to give you an idea of how you might progress through the course. I said, for example, in module one, you should watch lesson number one first. This is the lecture video, like what you would receive in a face-to-face -face course. Once you watch the video and take notes, then I would recommend that you go to homework number one. Clicking the link will open a new tab, taking you to that homework assignment. And then if you mouse over a problem, don't click it, but mouse over a question, it will show you the section that it comes from. So we can see that question one, question two, question three, and question four all come from section 1.6, which would be the lecture video you just watched. And then the next question you can see would come from section 2.2. So again, once you complete those first four questions, then you can go back to your D2L, watch the next lecture video, and then complete the next series of questions. Now, let's say that you click on question number one. By the way, that's going to pop up a new window. So if you have a pop-up blocker installed, you might want to disable that so that you can see the homework come up. Within a homework assignment at the bottom, there are also resources within the MyLab Math page here that you can access to help you figure out how to solve these problems. So there is a Help Me Solve This where it will show you how to work this exact problem. And then it will give you a similar problem for you to try on your own. You can also view an example where it will show you a similar question. And then you can come back and try this problem on your own. If you miss a question, you can click similar problem. There will be a link down here that says similar question and you can try another one. You have infinite attempts at every question on every homework assignment. So theoretically, everybody could have a hundred homework average if you're persistent. Also, if the Help Me Solve This and View an Example are not working so good, you can go to my Sample Problem Homework Playlist. So the way you get there, you might want to minimize this window, go
go back to your D2L, click on homework number one, and then there below the assignment is the YouTube playlist. Okay, so again, clicking that is going to open a new tab where you can access any video that I have in the homework playlist. And I said I have an example of every single problem on every homework assignment. And these videos are short. They're straight and to the point. You can watch these over and over. Once you've attempted all of these resources, the Help Me Solve This, the View an Example, the Individual Problem uh, YouTube video, if you still need help, then you can text me, maybe text me a picture, and we can do what's called Tutor Through Text. Okay, once you've completed your homework assignment up to at least 70%, you can come back to your D2L page, click on the uh, link to the quiz. Again, that'll open a new tab where you can go and take the quiz for that particular module. Uh, I would like to point out that you do have three attempts per quiz and they are timed. So uh, you want to make sure that you're prepared to take those quizzes. I highly recommend after each attempt that you go and review your questions to see what you missed. If you're not sure why you missed something, feel free to text me and I will be happy to explain maybe why you missed something and what you need to do next time to prevent that. And so as soon as you're ready, you can click start the test. I will take the highest of the three attempts. So even if you make a 90, don't be afraid to try it again and shoot for 100. Okay, so once you've completed the first three modules, you're going to be ready to take the midterm exam. So what I would recommend first is that you go to the practice exams. Maybe click on and attempt the practice midterm. Or maybe you just want to click the link and open the playlist and watch me work through the practice midterm. Maybe you, if you like the videos, you can click and watch the uh, midterm exam reviews on my YouTube channel. Okay, either way though, you need to get prepared to take the midterm before you click on the link to uh, start the midterm. So again, launching that is going to take you to the My Lab Math page. Notice it doesn't automatically start the quiz or the exam. It takes you to this page and it says, hey, are you ready to start? And you can look through and say, hmm, I've got two attempts. Wow, two attempts at the midterm. That's pretty sweet. Oh, and I've got two hours to take it. And so if you're ready, you can go ahead and start. If you're not, you can just back out of this and go study some more. But you do need to make sure that you complete it by the due date. All of my due dates are set to expire at midnight. So uh, you know that in order to complete a two-hour assignment, you need to start it at least you know, by 10 so that you get the full two hours to complete that. And you can take these early. You do not have to wait till the last minute to take a quiz or an exam or to com complete a homework assignment. So once you've completed your midterm exam, and you've used your mobile phone to scan and email the single PDF maybe to your own email address. What you need to do then is come back here to D2L, click the link to the scratch work, and that's going to open up uh, another page here on D2L. And within the midterm exam scratch work window that it opens up, there's a box here where you can either drag and drop your PDF scratch work into this box, or you can click upload and go find out where you saved it on your computer and then upload it here. So just to make sure we're clear on this one detail, scratch work must be submitted for exams only. You are not required to submit scratch work for any quiz or homework assignment. Okay, another thing to mention, if you're all up to date on your assignments, uh, one thing you can do is come back to your MyLab Math Registration and Links module and click on the MyLab Math All Assignments link. That will open your MyLab Math page showing every assignment, every homework and quiz, and every exam. These assignments are organized by due date, except for the Academic Integrity Agreement. That What that is, that's a short quiz that you're going to have to complete before you can access the exams. And before I wrap things up in this video, I would like to show you how to use my YouTube channel as an independent math resource. 
what you can do is you can just go to YouTube and search for One Punch Math. My channel will be the first channel that populates. Clicking to go into my channel. I have my courses organized by level. So the college algebra co-requisite, that's like your uh, intermediate or uh, introductory algebra course. All of the playlists that I have created for that course are listed first. Then college algebra playlist. And then trigonometry and pre-calculus. So anything from, say, pre-algebra to pre-calculus, I have available on my YouTube channel. So uh, just showing you how to navigate, let's say that you want to review college algebra material. What you can do is click on the college algebra playlist, and that will bring up every playlist in the college algebra section. I've got my college algebra lectures by section. These are all of my lecture videos. And then I have playlists for every homework assignment. So module one would correspond to homework one, module two, homework two, so on and so forth. Down here, I've got the practice exams playlist. And then a special how-to college algebra. Those are where I store, say, just random videos that I go through uh, college algebra topics. And I think that may even contain the uh, quadratic formula song video. Yeah, right there. The quadratic formula song extended version. If you wanted to hear me sing the quadratic formula song and notice it's got the, I don't know if you can see there or not, it's got the music for it as well. I've got just a lot of stuff here on the YouTube channel that I've developed. I even have a short video where if you need some motivation, I will uh, motivate you in 16 seconds. So, And that's going to do it for this particular video. So if you have any questions or comments about anything that I've covered, if you run into some issue and you're not sure what to do, please email or text me. A text will get a faster response usually but emails are fine too. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you to quickly integrate into the course and become successful. Thanks for watching.